Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Couples Live. So today we are in St. Thomas. Um, we just uh, we got here around 6:30, I think, is when we docked. Um, we did go up to Cabanas to have some breakfast today because it's going to be a long day. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to eat until like three today. So we got a good breakfast, um, and now we're going to head down. So the first thing we're going to do is a sky ride up to um, the mountain. So we got to go there. Um, it opens at nine. And so we're going to try to be out of the boat, out of the ship by 8.30 so we can walk over there and take it up and then take some pictures, come back down. And then we have to come back on the boat, on the ship, to uh, meet up for our turtle um, excursion that we're doing today. Um, we're going to be in the D-Lounge for that. Um, that one we got to meet by 10.45. Um, they say 10 minutes earlier, so we probably need to be there by 10.35. But yeah, that's our plan for today. Um, I'm going to switch over to the GoPro because, once again, um, waterproof or water resistance so um, the next time I see you we'll probably be out out on the dock so see you there which side is best huh? which side is the best <laughs> seven minute ride down so the total ride time is gonna be like 14 minutes um and it was smooth it was smooth and the views were really pretty uh it was a little open um so you did get some breeze there weren't too? many handles to hold on to so it's a little like rocky but it wasn't too bad take but take a, take a look at the view yeah. 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 so this is a view at um paradise point and you have a clear view of the ship and the island it's really peaceful up here. They do have restaurants that you can eat at. They have shops, souvenir shopping. Um, but we don't have time. We have to go back down so we can make it to 1045 back on the ship. But yeah. Oh, and the walk to um, the gondolas was pretty quick. It was a 10, 10, 15 minute walk. So but yeah, when you get a chance to uh, check out Paradise Point, it's really pretty here. Look, they got a plane going. I don't know if you see the plane. I don't know if the GoPro is picking up the plane, but there's a plane up there. Right there. All right. So here we are making our way down from Paradise Point. Um, it's about a seven minute ride up and a seven minute ride back down. And it's a very smooth ride. The only part where it got a little bit scary and a little bit rocky was when we were getting on and off. Um, if you've ever been on the Skyliner at Disney near Hollywood Studios, usually they kind of, it's like really slow getting on and off. But this was a little bit rocking and a little bit moving a little bit faster. So it was kind of, you had to hold your balance. Um, but while you're up at Paradise Point, there's a few shops. There are about maybe two restaurants. There's a nice little, there's a really nice overlook where you get to stand, take pictures, look out at the whole view on top of the mountain. And it's really pretty. Uh, we didn't get to spend too much time just because we had to make it back down to the ship to start our next excursion. So that was the only downside. Uh, we were trying to get everything done on our list and um, we didn't know exactly how long this would take, but really it was just up and then however much time you wanted to spend at the top, 
you could spend at the top and then you would just make your way back down and the rides uh there was they're pretty frequent you um the, the gondolas were available pretty frequently because people are going up and down at different times um and what we did was we made sure that we got off the ship as soon as we could and got over to this area as soon as we could so we could make it up and then back down to make it on time for our turtle excursion but definitely worth it um it is available all day long, so it's not like you're restricted to certain times with the gondola. Just obviously when they close, they close. But throughout the day, it's a, you're available to come up and do any, go at any time. Now, I'm not sure how ticketing works, but I know we purchased our tickets before we went on to the cruise. And that's how we were able to just get on without any worry about having to purchase tickets. There is a line to purchase tickets, but I'm not sure how the availability is to purchase tickets day of um but it did seem like people were getting through and getting their tickets very easily but it was actually really close to the ship you can actually see the ship on our way down and it was about a 10 minute walk and on our way back i don't know if we film it but there was a nice coffee shop on the way back and there's lots of things to lots of stores and lots of small little shops and restaurants so it's a nice little area overall one more thing to note is when you go there, they let you know that there's a ton of steps to climb up when you get there. So if steps is something that you struggle with, this might not be something you want to do. Tickets were about $30. Here we go. Hi. It's a boom. We're going snorkeling. Hopefully we find some turtles. So I first off, I want to start off by saying this is an absolutely amazing experience just to swim along these graceful sea creatures and watch them come up for air and swim back down. There's another clip where we have the turtle eating seagrass. Just an amazing experience overall. Highly recommend. It's a bucket list item. We actually did this excursion through Disney Cruise Line, but what it was was they went through the University of St. Thomas. There was a group of students, I believe they're marine biology students, and they set up this excursion. They had all the gear for us, and we were just, they had different groups, and we would just stick with our group, and they would show us where the sea turtles were. But I highly 
recommend. Um, St. Thomas is one of the best places to go see sea turtles because what happens is they have three different kinds. They have green sea turtles, oxbow turtles, and leatherback turtles. And it's just a really great area where a lot of the natural scenery and environment has been protected. And so the sea turtles have a great home to live here in St. Thomas. There is actually a huge fine if you were to touch the animal, the sea turtles, or get really close to them mainly if you're touching them and that's how protected they are here in St. Thomas. Even in our group we kind of figured out why, one of the reasons why we were made to wear the life jackets is not only for safety but it was a means to keep you kind of above uh, above water or like close to being above water to where you would not be able to touch the sea turtles. You would not be able to get too far down to touch them or bother them in their natural environment. So that's the reason why or one of the reasons why I believe we had life jackets. Um, it was also to keep the group together and to keep you safe for those people that were not able to swim or not very good at it. Yeah, so we saw, yes, we saw one come up for air, which was really neat. Yeah, I saw, I saw the other one I saw also went up for air. That's cool. Yeah. They're out in the wild. You're not allowed to touch them. No, but they're fine. Yep. But, um... The snorkel gear is included, and the life jacket, and the life jacket's really annoying. Yeah, but it's kind of, well, it kind of helps you float, so I guess it, it helps them something, but... Yeah, gotta get back to it. Yeah. Just a few interesting facts about sea turtles. Actually, only one in 1,000 turtles will make it to adulthood. So the fact that we were able to see so many of adult sea turtles on this excursion was pretty mirac miraculous in itself. Because only one in 1,000 usually survive. And that's just due to when the eggs hatch and the turtles are trying to make their way back to the ocean. There's so many factors. There's uh, seagulls, uh, pelicans that can eat them. They can die of heat exhaustion food deprivation and thirst. When they get into the ocean, they're so tiny, so a bigger fish or sharks can eat them. There's a lot of factors that determine whether they'll make it to adulthood. And sea turtles live a long time. Once they are born and they do make it to adulthood, they live a long time. Gotta give my chicken charge. Hey, hey. All right, everybody. Um, so I'm not sure where we left off. I think the last time we were actually on the island. I don't know if we made a video when we came back on. Um, but yeah, so we went with the turtles. So we swam. Um, it was pretty cool. It was I enjoyed really it. Cool. Yeah. Um, we did the sky ride <coughs> um, to Paradise Point. Uh, we got some clips there as well. So we'll have those on in the video. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend that snorkeling with the turtles. It's a very unique experience, um, something I've never experienced. Mm -hmm. And you got a chance to swim with turtles, and we saw quite a few at the <coughs> saw, like, um, we had like four or five sightings of it, of a turtle. I'm not sure if it was the same turtle over and over again, but like, eh, we were going to say yeah. there are five different turtles. We got a little discouraged in the beginning. Yeah. But once you like, you, the key is to stick with your group. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah, it, it was fun. Just know that you have to wear life vests. Um, yeah. And for us, like, we normally don't wear life vests just because we know how to swim. Um, but these were kind of awkward when we were snorkeling. Like, when we were looking down, it wasn't too bad. But at some point towards the end, like, the, the life jacket started, like, started, like started choking, choking me instead. And I was just like, okay, well, um, I guess I'm going to be drowning this way instead. <laughs> But it was fun. Um, the bus drive was short. The same open air bus. Um, took some shots while we were driving while we were going there. Um, but yeah, that that's what we did today in uh, St. Thomas. Then we came back to the boat. Um, we did eat lunch because everyone was hungry. So there is no food. Um, I think uh, someone in our party did say they f saw some food, but um, I didn't see it. And you honestly don't really have time <coughs> to get a snack. Um, they did hand out water, but that was it. But like. You didn't really have time to actually go get, like, a meal or something, so... No, and we did notice, like, the overall trip was supposed to be two hours and 45 minutes. Yeah. But we actually left an hour. Like, they had us board and leave an hour early. Yeah. So, I mean, to be honest, like, by the time you're done swimming in the ocean as much as we did, you're done after two hours anyways. 
Yeah. But we did end up leaving, like, pretty much an hour early. So Yeah, and then we left an hour, like, maybe, like, 15, 20 <laughs> minutes late. Like, it was 1045, and we were um, left at 11. Yeah, so, so the timing is not really accurate, but... Like I said, by the time you're swimming, done yeah, swimming, yeah, you're tired. Yeah, you're, 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 you're good. But <laughs> yeah. the timing was good. Like, um, yeah, they shortchanged us, but it was enough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we got back to the the ship. We went and um, got lunch at Cabanas. Um, everyone was in there, so it was it was kind of a chaos. But um, it is what it is. Pack your patience yeah. once again. Um, it's a buffet. Yeah. <clears throat> so then after that, we came back to the room. We knocked out for an hour or two. Um, took a nap, you know, your um, ob- obligatory cruise nap. Cruise nap. Um, got up, and then they had a ventriloquist today. So that was the show for today. Um, it was pretty cool. I liked her. Mm, we were laughing the whole time. Yeah, yeah. It was so... it was PG, and, like, it was still funny. It didn't need to be crude to be uh, funny. No. So... And she's supposed to do another adult only one so we'll see we might try to go to that one too but yep. it, was really, it was really funny like yeah it's interesting and so then after that we went to dinner uh we were at enchanted gardens today um we actually i didn't film much of it because today we we're just kind of taking a break um we just wanted to eat and just kind of take a break from filming dinner i took a few clips of my food but it not all of it yeah um, we were just um, trying to have, enjoy and talk. And yeah, and we're, I was kind of full from lunch because we had a late lunch. So we just didn't really eat much. Um, what we did have was good. Um, I had the turkey dinner. They had like a turkey thing, which is pretty much just like a Thanksgiving turkey with some like sweet potato mash, turkey, stuffing, and green beans. It was good. I liked it. Um, the breast was juicy. And then we I had the mushroom soup. The mushroom soup was okay. Yeah, we both had the mushroom soup. It was okay. Like, I wouldn't say it's good, but it wasn't bad. It was just, meh. It was, like, warm and soothing, so it was kind of nice after a beach day. Yeah. I would say. Um, and then we both had the grilled shrimp with jambalaya rice. Yeah. Which was, it was okay as well. The jambalaya rice was a little bit overpowering with the seasoning, I felt like. So, I like the shrimp a Yeah. More. Yeah. And then uh, we skipped dessert because <laughs> we did, um, at lunchtime, we did get some gelato <laughs> yeah. and ice cream from uh, Sweet On You Shop. Um... It was good. The was gelato really good. was really good. I got um, the peanut butter um, Snickers with uh, cookies and cream. So it was like peanut butter Oreo ice cream. It was pretty good. It was uh, really good. Yeah, and I, I just got, I opted for ice cream. So I got cookies and cream ice cream with hot fudge. Yeah. And so then after dinner, what did we do after dinner? Um, yeah, after that, we just went up on deck. They were um, playing um, Star Wars Episode Five. Uh, Empire Strikes Back on the Funnel Vision. So we sat for a little bit, um, watched that. Mm-hmm. And um, now it's now it's about to go bedtime, so we came back down. Um, but yeah, so that was today. Tomorrow we're at and see. Um, not nothing really planned for tomorrow, so tomorrow's gonna be a break day. We're, we're gonna, just... yeah, we're gonna try to see what we can get done on a sea day, cause like the last two sea days we kind of didn't do too much, but maybe tomorrow we can try to see like mm-hmm. we are looking forward to the Mickey churro waffles though. They keep bringing it. Yeah, up. yeah. So, so tomorrow, hopefully... tomorrow is churro day, <clears throat> Mickey Mickey churro waffle day. So we're gonna try to try to get that. Um, tomorrow they're gonna have Frozen. Um, that's the yeah. show for tomorrow, so that's gonna be fun. Um, but other than that, we'll see what we plan and where the day takes us tomorrow. And I think that's a wrap for today. Yeah. Um, like Highly it's... recommend both islands. They were both beautiful yeah in their own unique ways and i definitely just... like these ports better than the bahamas yes uh, getting it on and off is so much easier um you just need your driver's license i mean i brought my passports but like they didn't even and they didn't even look at the license they just use their magic bands or key to the world yeah. i think they tell you to bring your photo id just in case something happens um but yeah otherwise i i I like them better than the Bahamas. Honestly, I feel like the Eastern cruise in general, I like the stops better than yep. the Western cruise. So, just our opinion. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, like I said, we're going to go sleep. We're going to just chill out for the rest of the night. Um, if you like, please like, subscribe, favorite, follow us. Um, and then uh, share with your friends and family. And, and we'll see you on the next vibe. Yep. Bye. Bye.